Good job, everybody. My name is Awesome Crunch, and welcome back to Subnautica News. Now, sorry I haven't uploaded for the past couple of days, I have gone away, but I am back with, I think, one of the first bits of news about this on YouTube. Uh, so, pretty proud of myself for this. Uh, basically, you can now disable the gun. The animation for disabling the gun that was released a couple of days ago is now in the game. And you can disable the gun. Now, whether it actually disables the gun, pretty sure it still shoots down the sunbeam if you do the sunbeam animation. But, you know, it's a thing. It's there. And it's in-game. And it looks awesome. So I'll show that to you as well today. And also, turns out, the juvenile emperors are also now out in the game, out in the environment. They just kind of appear there. So, you know, uh, that's a thing. And I've also noticed that there's a little animation when they spit out the enzyme cure ball. Um, so it kind of comes out in a little ball, and they kind of throw it up a little bit. Um, stuff like that. Also, new animation for the enzyme cure is in the game, but you probably already knew that, um, because it's been out for a while. But, firstly, I'm going to go to the gun, um, and we'll see what we can do there. Basically, you have to have done the sequence with the CM Pro Juveniles, and you have to have done the cure animation for this to work, as far as I can see. Because I tried getting rid of the infection using commands, and it still wouldn't disable the gun properly for me. So you've got to do it like that, as far as I know. But it does let you disable the gun, or at least it lets you do the animation for it. And then secondly, I will show you the Sea Emperors out in their natural habitats. And I have to say, they are, they're full size. This is the size that they're going to be, and they're massive. I'll do a size ref later as well. Um, but... Uh, they're huge. They're like proper sea emperors. Not quite as big as the mama, but they're still juveniles, so you got to remember that. So the growth is pretty impressive, to be honest. They've gone from tiny babies that have just hatched ten minutes ago, if that, to fully-fledged adults. Well, juveniles uh, that are spread out across the world. It's really impressive. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head into the gun and uh, we're gonna head through the room, we'll go down the corridor, and as you can see, I think they've added red to the um, column where you put your hand in, and uh, I'll let you watch this. It's also red, yeah, it's red now there as well. So as you can see, it says disable facility. So he puts his hand in, gets it stuck, and he tries to pull it out because he learned from last time, and then he dodges, <laughs> he dodges the stabbing thing, gets stabbed, he gets a bit angry, it goes green, which means yes, you've disabled it, and then he punches the block and then hurts himself because he's a bit of an idiot. Now, at the moment, nothing happens, like, no, I think they're planning so that that cube, the precursor power crystal thing in the center, it's not a power crystal, it's like a, it's a column of energy or something, it's the core of the gun. That's supposed to shut down and slide down or slide up into the thing to show that it's stopped. But essentially, yeah, that's what it's going to do. Um, but it doesn't do that at the moment. It's just the animation for it, and it looks amazing. So I just thought I should get that out there for you guys. So next bit of news is that, as I said before, the Juvenile Emperors are now in the game uh, in their different places, and there's five of them, so I'll take you to all of them now. The first one is in the Floating Islands biome, and as you can see, he's massive. <laughs> Um, I'll put it in day just so you can see him a little bit better. Um, but as you can see, he's he's huge, uh, and I will do a size ref uh, shortly to show you what I mean. So it's not the best, but as you can see, there is actually you, there's a huge difference between the size of the player, and it's more like in the trailer, like the difference in the size between the head and the player, and that it looks it, it's incredible. The size is fascinating. So the next sea emperor is. Sea Emperor 2, and that is in the Cragfield biome, I believe. Yeah, okay, Cragfield. Um, and, yeah, it, it, same, it's identical, Looks it, it looks the same as the others, um, but I do actually swim up to the surface here. By the way, this is, pre, uh, this is recorded after the gameplay, um, in case you couldn't tell already. And as you come up to the surface, you can tell we're not actually that far away from the Aurora. We're right at the back, and it's a Planning huge sea emperor. It's awesome. So we'll head to the third one now, and the third one is in the mountains. And yeah, there you go. You can see a reaper, and you can already see, even though the perspective is a bit weird, you can see that the reaper is tiny in comparison. It's awesome. It is freaking amazing. Um, there's not a lot to do with them at the moment. They just swim around. They do actually have, interestingly enough, they do have attack animation. So whether that means they're going to be 
peaceful to us or whether they're going to be aggressive towards us, I'm not sure. Um, I, I mean, you'd expect them to be peaceful because you help them, you hatch them, but maybe they don't, maybe they don't appreciate that. Uh, next one uh, is in the Junes biome, and I think this is the second to last one yet. Yeah, there's one more. It's just in the Junes biome. There's nothing really special going on here. So essentially, if you if you explore after you've uh, finished the game, uh, after you've cured yourself, then you'll find these things. Uh, it might be a challenge to find all five of them. Maybe you'll get an achievement unlock called I don't know. So the last one is in the Grand Reef, um, and as you can see, it's just the same as the others, but it looks so cool, um, and it's just the best bit of news, I mean, we've had in a long time. They do actually have facial animations as well, you can tell they uh, blink a little bit and their mouth opens and closes. Um, but they're definitely not finished as far as I can tell, they're, they're turning quite square, that's not how a fish would turn, or something that size. Um, so obviously they need a bit of work with that and turning animations perhaps, but either way, it, it it's incredible, I, I don't know what to say. But anyway guys, I'm going to leave it here, I want to get this out as quickly as I can to you. So. I'm going to leave it here, so if you did enjoy the video, please give a like. If you're feeling really, really generous, subscribe to me, Crunchy David. Until the next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Try, my friends.